So Mark Spears, who do you have taking the hardware next season? I got Keegan Murray because he's going to be on a playoff team. The Kings are going in the streak. Playoffs? Playoffs? Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about playoffs. The, 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 the playoffs where? Hey, man, record that. Record that. It's going to be on a playoff team. Thank you, dance gentlemen, floor. for spending right, some time with us here on okay. NBA Today. All I can say is Lachaya, and we Sacramento will see you tomorrow. The We're going to have a conversation. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a conversation. <laughs> I just happened to be back today. I just happened to be back today. The Mr. The Hot Taker himself, mm -hmm. Mr. Spears. Uh, Big Perk is back. I know he's ready to go. And Dave McMenamin. So let's set the scene for this one. This is a team in the Kings that traded Tyrese Halliburton for DeMontis Sabonis. They've still got the young star in the making in De'Aaron Fox. And they added the Summer League MVP, Keegan Murray. So, Mark. Yes. I'm going to start with you yes. since you brought it up That's to begin not. with. Can the Kings We're give you another chance? Really make the playoffs this season? Malika, who predicted that the Warriors are going to go to the final? I know, and I apologize, and I'm apologizing to you again for that. Okay. You were right. We'll start with that. Um, former All Star Sabonis and Fox are great together. Check out their pick and roll. They're going to be special together. Fox will be an All Star player now. Now that they're going to have a training camp together, Davian Mitchell is going to take it up another I like level. Him. The next season, Keegan Murray was a Summer League MVP. Yes, it's Summer League. He averaged 23 points. Only player in Summer League to shoot over 50% from the field and 40 from three. NBA champ vet Harrison Barnes is back on the team. Two solid veterans, right? Mm. Kevin Huerter, Malik Monk, new. Rashawn Holmes, underrated. They had two voluntary camps. At least eight players showed up. Veteran coach and staff. I'm putting y'all on game. Okay, and the play-in doesn't count as the playoffs. We're saying the playoff playoffs, just to be very, very they clear. They will be here. the eighth seed in the playoffs. They'll be the eight. Perk? He, I, one, I just I want to ask why, but he explained to me why he okay. feel that way. And look, they have a nice young core. I can't knock that. They mm -hmm. added some pieces. I feel like Sabonis is a hell of a player. But when I take a look around the Western Conference, okay, and I look at a team like the Los Angeles Clippers, and I say, are the Sacramento Kings better than them? No. And then I look at a team like Spears the Phoenix Suns, and I said, no, they're not better than them. I look at the Grizzlies, and I said, no, they're not better than the Grizzlies either. Take I look at the out. Dallas Mavericks. That makes they're not they're not better than the Mavericks. They're not better than the Nuggets. They're not better than the Timberwolves. They're not better than the Pelicans. And to be honest with you, they're not better than the Trailblazers. So mm. are they going to be mm. probably floating around that area of being in the play-in tournament? Yes, probably so. But making the playoffs in the Western Conference Finals, yeah. I, I mean, in the Western Conference, I definitely can't see that. So, so, I can't see that no way, no how. So that's the question, right? Because my rule is if you're going to put somebody in, you have to take somebody like out. Utah so you, out. the Utah Jazz out. Yeah. But, Dave, I'm seeing the Clippers as being in who were out last year. Potentially the Lakers. Potentially the Trailblazers. What do you think of Mark's prediction here? So I've been uh, online searching for the job boards at Golden One Center if there was a hype man position open. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly Mark should be hired for it. Listen, I think the team you have to look at will definitely be in the playoffs next year out of that group is the Clippers. And the uh, team most likely out we'll see. are the Jazz. If, if what? No, even even without, if Kawhi doesn't play a game next year, the Clippers should be a playoff team. If make it Paul George is healthy. Uh, I mean, they had Paul for the final stretch, and they got those young guys better, and you add in John Wall, and you know, I, I like the, what the Clippers have hey. been doing. Hey. That's the team I think is definitely there, and then I think it's the Kings, the Trailblazers, and the Lakers yeah. fighting for yes. that final spot. But wait, 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 wait. Repeat, yeah. and, and repeat, repeat what you just said. The Kings, the Trailblazers, and the Lakers – competing for that final spot. Yeah, they're, I didn't they're, they're play. definitely in the playoffs. But take a look at this, Kendrick. No active NBA player. That doesn't mean they weren't in the league. LeBron was in the league when the Kings played in the playoffs. But because their streak is so long, oh. no active <laughs> NBA player has ever, ever faced the Kings in the playoffs. Ever, 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 Perk. Well, the, uh, I, I, and I understand that. And you know who else has something to prove? Hmm. Mike Brown. Yes. Because Mike Brown, last coaching days as a head coach, 
He wasn't just that great. And when he filled in for Steve Kerr in this post this last season, in the postseason, he wasn't great either. Matter of oh, fact, I remember one bad him game. getting smacked. His record yeah, is but like he got smacked by, 12 and he got, 1. He got smacked. He As got a, smacked by 50. It, it, it comes up, listen, when it comes a point of time. Let me explain something to you, Mark. It comes playoffs a point of about time. Win we or also loss. saw his record hold was like 12 hold on, hold on, and 1 on, in the playoffs. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can, I, can, can I say this to you? Yes, sir. We saw Luke Walton. We saw Luke Walton fill in for Steve Kerr, and he had a crazy record when he coached the Golden State Warriors. What happened when he went to the Lakers? Hell, what happened when he just went to the Sacramento Kings? It didn't last long. So my thing is is that Mike Brown has something to prove as well. I'm just looking at the Western Conference, and I'm just not sold on the duo of Sabonis and De'Aaron Fox. Uh, I, I hope am. they prove me wrong. I want to see them a Texas boy back in the mix of things, but I just don't see it. Well, I, I think Fox – with him, he has some, that pick and roll game. I don't know. I watch them more. I live in Northern California. Their pick and roll game is special. You'll see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.